Okay, um, I'm going to demonstrate the load sensing button now. Let me just shut it off for a second. What the load sensing button does, I think, is, um, and I really noticed this when traveling down the uh, the road with it, the you know public road. Um, without the load sensing button engaged, when a tractor started going up a hill, uh, you, you could feel it start bogging down, and it would it would just bog down, um, you know, the whole engine, and everything, um, until I shifted to a, a lower range. With the load sensing button pushed in and it engaged, it would automatically slow down the tractor while maintaining the same engine speed. As soon as it started to lug a little bit, it would slow down the tractor on its own and keeping the same, pretty much keeping the same engine speed to make it up the hill. Now, of course, if it was in too high a range, that would not even help anyway. So let's try it out, and I think you might see what I'm talking about. This here is a this is a hill, it's kind of hard to see I guess in the video, but uh, for demonstration purposes it should work fine. Alright, this is without, let me raise up the throttle a little bit. This is without load sensing engaged. You hear how it lugs down? Let me back up to the same part. Now I'll engage load sense, and I'm stepping on a hydraulic pedal, and you see how it's kind of keeping the same engine RPM and it's going slower. So, but it's much more noticeable. Um, it's going up a, a steep hill, and right now I just had it at, at a lower idle. Uh, but I did notice it going down the public road, going up hills. Um, the next thing to show is probably the uh, the PTO engagement. All right, now I'm going to show the electric, uh, I guess electrical, hydraulic, whatever it is, the uh, PTO engagement here. Push button PTO on this. This button here. When you push it in to engage it, it lights up and it controls the PTO shaft right there. Now, when engaging the PTO, you really want to try to engage it at low idle. Um, this way, if, it, if you're using a brush hog or some other PTO implement, if it kicks in hard, you'll probably snap the um, uh, shear pin. Uh, on it or maybe do some other damage so you want to engage it at idle or low idle low throttle and then once it's engaged uh, throttle it on up to where you need it to be The other thing to note is that it's pretty darn cold out this morning. I'd say probably upper 20s, maybe low 30s, and it's pretty darn cold out. The fluid is not quite warmed up yet, um, so I don't, I don't want to run things for too long. The other thing to mention is with any PTO implement, when it's engaged, stay the heck away from the PTO uh, shaft. It will not stop for anything if you, your, your shirt gets caught in there or your coat or a glove or so it'll just rip your arm off or worse so um, when it's engaged stay away from it
actually what I try to do is um, if I'm going to touch anything with the PTO, even if it's not engaged, I'd rather just shut the engine off than take the PTO shaft off or put it on. I don't like having the tractor running at all if I'm going to be touching the PTO shaft.